Hey there, Ventex here. Welcome back to another live stream of Chef Life Simulator. Uh, this is part three last time. We've started making some progress with leveling up Kasim, our sous chef. And now we are learning more impressive dishes too, which ends up costing more ingredients, but the, uh, ah, the uh, customers love it. As long as I can perform it up to snuff. Uh, hopefully, I don't know if the blender's been fixed since the last episode, but I think just to stay safe, we might try to avoid some of those recipes that include seasoning the blender. But let's go ahead and get back into things. What's up, Morty? Hey, Scooby. Oh, uh, you're good, Morty. No worries. I don't mind questions. All right, let's continue. I'm excited to expand our employees, our staff, our sous chefs, and hopefully start customizing our kitchen. So we ended after a, a really well service. Uh, let me see if I can see, let's see, I think I can go back here to my computer and see the last day right here. Previous services, maybe not. <laughs> it's completely blank. Oh, Kasim's level five. Make progress in this character's story to unlock the next levels, okay. So what do I got to do for his... I have to make the Sol Munier cooked in whipped lemon butter and green beans. Okay, I have to unlock that and make it with his help. I need to have him fillet some of the fish, fennel silvers, and red bell peppers. Okay, well, let's unlock that recipe. I didn't know I had to do that in order to level him up. I thought... Those are just like optional stuff. Let's see, what is that? That's not it. Okay, that's it right there. But I guess we need to upgrade it. Let's go ahead and put it on the menu. That's the fish. So I guess for now, I guess I can't update the menu until we end the day. Let's end the day right now then. And just skip that. Oh, speaking of, that reminds me. Uh, there is copyright music in this game, so let me go to my audio. So I don't have to mute a bunch of times after I get done streaming. So, mute the music, unfortunately. We're gonna have to mute the music. But that's okay. All the other sounds will still be here. I don't know why. The intro doesn't seem to be copyright, but just like the day-to-day. -day, like when we're just chilling in here, cooking stuff, and ordering food and everything. It's like copyright music. And uh, I'm not the only one that's had that issue, so that, it's crazy. Uh, let's get to order in. Oh, first, before I order, I need to change my menu, otherwise I won't be able to change it. Let's change our... Our muscles? No? Hmm. Which one should we change? This is also French. I want to keep my salad, because that's super easy. 
The beef carpaccio is also very easy. The mussels are the only thing that's difficult, so maybe I'll change out that for the fish. Just to make Kasim happy. I have another quest. Maybe I should change out another dish. No, she wants me to buy 14 products from the speed market, so I guess I'm going to do that. I don't really want to. Have five regular customers. I swear I have five regular customers already. Okay, we're going to buy stuff from the speed market, even though it's crap quality, just to get over this. Uh, let me pop out my chat real quick. It's easier to read that way. Even though it's crap quality, we have to do it for the quest. And then we're going to level Kasim up. Nothing else I can really do right now. Okay, so I have four loyal customers. I'm halfway to fifth one. Okay, so I'm almost done with that one. Everything else looks good. Let's go ahead and order our supplies from that speed market. Do you need something for the fridges? Or supermarket. Is it super? Yeah. No, speed market. She says speed market, didn't she? Let's do it later. Let me see. It was speed market, right? Speed or super? Go, 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 go. It was speed. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh my gosh. Was that like that earlier? I don't think it was like that a second ago. <laughs> what do you need today? All right, we can still get regular from the speed market. At least it's regular quality, so that's a little bit better, I guess. So I need to get six, six veggies, five meat, three fish, and six grains. Oh, that's gonna be eighty. We still have a hundred left over. That's not too bad. Starting to make a little bit more money. Now for this fish, first off, let me go ahead and get the green beans going. That's easy. Well, I guess I'll put this right here for when they are here. I can go ahead and turn on the range. So that way I can just get the supplies, throw the green beans in. Let's see. I don't know if I remember the fish. It's been a while since I made it. Let me go ahead and pin it just in case. I need Kasim to get here so he can start cleaning up. And then he's going to have help me fillet this fish. And I guess we'll have to upgrade the recipe in order to get the fennel and the red bell peppers. Because that's not something we have. Or the whipped lemon butter and green meat. No, that's that's the whole recipe. We got that. Even though it doesn't say whipped the lemon butter. Alright, let's go grab our food products. Thank you. Take all of that. Take all of this. So excited. I have a new intro music coming in the next couple days. I'm excited to see it. Check it out. Alright, let's go. Green beans. I don't need his help making green beans. I do need seasoning, though. Oh, what do we have here? Fennel seeds. Okay. Let's go throw that in there. Season it. Lots of salt. Put two doses in. One more. Whenever it says not enough, you just gotta do the one. Alright, green beans are going. Wish there was something else I can do. Oh, I guess I could do the mozzarella and the tomatoes. Tomatoes, let's get three mozzarella. I need three sugars and three balsamic vinegars. I'll get three caprese salads ready. Still going. I think I have time to cut my mozzarella. All right, now it should be about ready. I saw that you can expand your kitchen, too. I'm excited to progress in this game. There's a lot of stuff that we haven't even gotten to yet. Even though we stream for, like, what, a good, like, seven, eight hours? 
still so much to get to. That's what I like about the simulator games. I like when there's a lot of progression to be had. Okay, let's go ahead and make that balsamic vinegar now. And it's fun to memorize some of these recipes, like this caprese salad. It's not that it's that difficult. It's literally cut up tomatoes, mozzarella, make the balsamic, put it together, season it. But it makes you feel like you're actually doing some cooking. Putting all these recipes together, memorizing them. Everything's going good. Seems about to come in. I'm going to have him clean up all this. And I guess I need him to belay some of that fish. Let's give this a stir. Okay, next one. Very good. I wish we had a dishwasher too. They're doing a lot of updates, so maybe eventually we'll have a little dishwasher. That way I don't have to clean these pots and pans myself. Good, and this one stir. Prevent it from sticking. Come on, Kasim. Okay, one more. For some reason, I've been really into The Sims lately. Yeah, The Sims is always fun. They're coming out with the new one, should be coming out soon. Sims 5? Not like, not like soon as in like a week or a month or something, but I know they've already like been talking about it and been working on it and something that a lot of people know about is coming around the corner probably within imagine next year or so? Two years? The only thing I don't like about The Sims is the DLC. It's just too expensive. It feels like a lot of times they remove a lot of features that later become DLC from like previous installments of the game. Like I think with this last one wasn't it pools? Pools was uh, something that wasn't included in the base game and then came out as something you could purchase. One more. But it's like, it's like literally hey, over. Ready to start the day? Hey, Kasim. Literally, it's like what? Between five hundred to a thousand dollars, if you want to get like all the DLC, they're like ten dollars for a pack of stuff. Some of it you probably won't ever use. Good job. I'm glad Kasim cleans up the restaurant. I don't have to do it. Give it a nice stir. I know a lot of people are excited about the uh, new DLC coming out. I think it has to do something with like growth, like child growth, child development. I'm about to put Kasim over here to help me prep. Once he gets this cleaned up a little bit, but it doesn't look like that. We don't want customers coming in and it looks like that. Solid foundation here, but we shouldn't get complacent. Okay, Kasim. All right, salads are looking good. Let me go and put these two that I have, I guess, in the fridge for now. I guess I'll put it over here. Don't think we'll need any more than three, but we might. I got time. Plenty of time to prep. Oh, it's ready. Thank you. Put this here. Let's make another one. I could probably do like one more salad just to be safe. This is our A plus dish. Can't wait to upgrade it. 
I guess I'm just not a, at that high enough level to do it right now. Perfect seasoning. Everybody that gets this gives me full stars and they're so impressed by it. But I think it's one of our cheaper dishes too. I think it's only, what, six? Yeah, six whatever. Whatever that money sign is. Alright, maybe I'll do one really more. Need to do something to improve the restaurant. Well, it looks good now, Kasim. Here. Uh, let me go ahead and help prep the food. So help me make some of this fish, would you? Fish. Very well, chef. Yeah, make me some fish. That's his specialty, this fish. Oh, that's not mozzarella. There we go, and a tomato. What is that? Fish scraps for bouillon. Really? Huh. This must be a new recipe I got. All right, while that's cooking, I can dice up my mozzarella and my tomato. Four caprese salads should be okay for this service. We're still relatively early on. What is this? Like our... Oh, nice. One fillet done. I believe this is our... What, seventh, eighth the day customers cooking? customers can feel it when the kitchen is not running smoothly. Kasim just says stuff at randomly. Doesn't have to make sense or be relevant to the situation. We'll just say it anyway. After that, I'm gonna get him to finish cleaning. I didn't realize it was dirty right here. Nice! Look at that! Good work, Kasim. Give it a stir. Excellent. Very nice, Kasim. We'll go ahead and take these off your hand. Put those in the fridge right here. Right. Balsamic should be about done. Let's give it one more stir and it should be finished. The bakra. And... Good. Nice. Put this right here. Make one more caprese salad. Get it ready. Put it down. Might change the look of this dish. I'm not 100% on it. I actually took my time last episode with some of the dishes I prepared and played in, and I was actually quite impressed by the way they turned out. You're an expert. Or you're the expert. I got an achievement that says you're the expert. There I think it's because he's... Of the restaurant that could be improved. Okay. Let me go ahead and try to plate this. Well, I guess I can't plate it right now without making a whole another one and it going to waste. I guess we got time, though. Oh, we have uh, somebody here. Is someone randomly... Everybody just rolls up in here while we're prepping. Hey, with all the customers we have, I looked into hiring a new chef. Okay, well, now I'm glad she's here. We have a new chef, two chefs to help us in the kitchen. I found someone who knows how to cook meat really well, despite having only worked in fast food places. Her name is Adele. Tomorrow is her first day, but she came in today to meet you. You're going to love her. Good to meet you, chef. I walked by your restaurant before, but I never dreamed I would one day work here. I've only worked in fast food joints after all, but I always give it everything I've got in the kitchen. Kasim told me about your plans, and I immediately knew I wanted in. It sounds like a blast. Thank you for giving me a chance. I won't let you down, chef. Adele has joined your team as a chef. She doesn't have much experience, but she has a talent for meat-based dishes. You can assign her tasks to do to help you in the kitchen, but make sure you keep her motivated. She's not here today, though. She says she'll come in tomorrow. All right, let's do one more salad just so I can replate it. So I can make it look nice. Kasim is done now with the fish. Let me make sure that this is getting, like, ticked off over here. Okay, so he did five, so three fennel sil slivers and 
three red bell pepper slivers, but I don't have that yet because this recipe is still like the basic recipe. Are you sure everything is fine? Yes, go clean. Don't forget, we are a team. We support each other. Okay, one more just to change the plating to something that doesn't look like trash. Mozzarella, tomato. Nice. Alright, what else can I do? I need to make... We got the fish, we got the green beans. As far as the fish goes, there's not much else I can do. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All I gotta do is cook the fish and get a, a green bean, which is on the warmer. I could maybe make a second green bean? What else do we have? Lemon marinated beef carpaccio. Okay, we can do that. So for the lemon marinated beef carpaccio, I need the lemon. Uh, I know I need the beef. Excuse me, Kasim. Jesus. Dude, strong. Let me go ahead and cut that beef. Please. We gotta get that lean meat. Okay, let's go and put it in here. I gotta slice it thinly. Oh no, I gotta stir. It's okay, I should have time after this. Stir. No, it's ruined. It's burnt, you donut. Here, let me do it again. No, I'm out of pans. <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's freezing over. It's okay, we got time. There's a lot of noises going on over there. Okay. We got this. Seem it's still dirty over here. What's going on? Okay, let me juice this lemon. Now, to make this... Not here. Let me get the ingredient, I guess. I forget how it goes. I, ha I have a semblance of how it goes. No. There it is. Let me go and stir so that doesn't happen again. Alright. Oh, cheese and onion. Onion... And cheese. Okay, let's cut the cheese. And for the onion, what do I need? Slices, I believe. Yes, slices. Let's give this one more stir, just to be safe. Don't want to burn it again. Okay, let's go ahead and slice these on or this onion. Okay, for this I need this right here, this preparing dish. Put it right here. Uh-oh. Can I quit right now? Yes, okay, good. Okay, thank god. I almost burnt it. Alright, season. Olive oil, just one, one little spoonful, perfect. Okay, put that lemon in there. Now the cheese, onions. Now we just let it sit. Let it sit over here in the fridge. I had more fish. There we go. I knew I had more fish. Let's make this last caprese salad that should last us for the service today. No wait, no wait, this one we're, we're replating. That's right, that's right. Gonna make it look good. Okay, and balsamic. So I need to get that basil leaf for this one. What's up? Uh, can you make some extras, okay. please? Looks clean enough. Set 
basil leaf in the vegetables. There we are. Alright, here we go. We're going to plate it. Just so I can redo the plating. And then this is going to go in the trash. If you throw it away, you'll lose responsibility. But if you leave it out and it just goes away on its own when it's time to go to dinner service, then you don't lose any responsibility. It's weird. Okay, let's continue with our theme of our black plate. I just like the look of it better. Now, let's start. Here's the balsamic. Maybe I can do... What do I have for mozzarella options? That's interesting. <laughs> You can put the balsamic in there. I wonder if I could put something else in there. Like the tomatoes. Uh, I'm sure I could put little little bits of tomato in here. Like that. It's floating on top of it. That's not good. That's not what I wanted. Uh, can I reposition? There we go. We get an aerial view. Let me start over here, maybe? Yeah, it keeps, like, it's not wanting to, like, actually settle it down there. It's just floating above, which looks weird. Maybe this one? Would that be any different? It doesn't look terrible, especially if I maybe add some of that sauce to it. Like that. <laughs> that doesn't look appetizing at all. Who would want to eat that? This looks pretty good. I wonder if I could put this right here and do something inside of it. With the mozzarella. Those look pretty good too. Can I... No, I don't know if that can put that in the middle of there. Maybe I'll go with these. And then do like a little, like a little sauce for the balsamic. That right there. Oh no, did I not place it? Right here. Okay, next. Okay, let's get those shish kebab looking things. One there, and then, no. I kind of want it to like angle. I could put three of them on here. That'd be a, a hearty meal. Mm, I like the way it looks. Maybe I could put it like this, and then one right here. Like that. Okay, that works. Pour the sauce in. And then maybe I can do a little something fancy with it right here. Go and get one of these. Hmm. You rotate. And then right here, maybe? Kind of circle in the cup. Maybe could do three of them. We do one right here. One right here. And then one over here, like so. Oh no, I pressed R. There we go. We can have these little dots. Okay, that'll work. That looks a little bit better. 
Now, as far as this, maybe I could put a little leaf in here. Perfect. I think that looks better already. Anything else? I got a little tomato chunk in here as well. No, that's too big. What's up, Arashi? Not gonna lie, it's kind of weird seeing you play something that is not a horror game. Yeah, we do we do a few simulators on this channel too. I, I like simulator games. I think they're a lot of fun. There we go. Get some tomatoes in there. Tomato chunks. Let me see if I can't position it so that two of them are like showing. So that's a little weird because it's hovering above everything. I like the one there. That's nice. Can I put another one? Mm, that was okay. Okay. I think I like that. I think that looks pretty good. I think that's better than the pinwheels. Let's go ahead and use this plating. And tab. Okay. Tab. We still got some time. How's my carpaccio? Looks ready. Okay, we're good to go. Yeah, this game is a really fun simulator. If you like, like, cooking stuff... Like, I've always been a big fan of Iron Chef and Kitchen Nightmares and those kind of things. If you like those kind of things, this game is like... One of the better chef simulating games I've ever played. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more thin slices. I'm gonna get a little bit more just in case we need another carpaccio. There we go. I'll just throw it in here. Kasim's working on those extras. Let me make another lemon or yeah, lemon juice. I could just put it in the fridge as well while we're waiting for the time for dinner service. Okay, so if I need to make another one, I've got most of the ingredients ready to go. Uh-oh. want to get my juice. Let me put it over mm. here. All right. You ready, Kasim? It's about that time. Here we go. Start the service. Okay. We only got one extra all that time making extras. Are you okay, Kasim? You don't look very motivated. Kasim, could you go ahead? And make some of that beef carpaccio. Right away, chef. Aw, poor Kasim. He sounds so depressed. You're doing great. All right, here we go. Taking their orders. I like how they like. Lock us up in here. <laughs> They're afraid we're going to run wild. Got to corral us. Okay, what we got? Oh, we don't even have a fish dish. We got two of these. And a salad. Okay. Now, for the salad, I just need a basil leaf. Oh, speaking of, let me get a, a few basil leaves, and I need to get my seasoning ready in case we do got to make that fish dish. Although, I don't think we need seasoning. Hmm. I think all we really need is the flour and the butter. All right, let's go ahead and plate. This will be my fastest table, because we already have everything ready to go. Oh, look at that. This is one I worked really hard on. Looks so good. Next. Mm. 
Dang. Bon Appetit. And the Caprese Salad that we just revamped. Our new look dish. Boom. Check that out. Fire. Okay. Well done, Chef. Nice work. I know. Oh, we have another customer. Okay, so for the fish, let's look at this. Let's look at this fish. Now it says to go ahead and make the pan hot, so maybe we should go ahead and do that now. Okay, what else do we need for the fish dish? So make the pan hot, and then we just do the fish, and the oil, and then the butter in the first phase. So let me get the oil and the butter, because I know someone's going to order fish soon. And butter on the first phase. Here we go. Fish. The new order, chef. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. All right, boom, boom, drop it. And then we just put butter on it on the first phase and we're good to go. We should get that one within that first bar up there on the top left. You can see the wait time. That's it. Kasim, could you make some more I fish just because you're an expert? Chef. Chef. Sounds so sad. Uh, let me put this over here. Good job, Kasim. You're doing great. Hey, Suki. Oh, that's my fish. Oh, we got time. Maybe I should, should I turn it up? Let me see. Does, does it mind if I use higher heat? Cook with a hot pan. It doesn't say it minds if I use a higher heat or not, so maybe I'll turn it up. Heat it up. It's cool that you can see that the hot the pan is hot with that red glow from it. Good job, Kasim. You got this, buddy. Alright, I'm gonna take some of this green beans. Let's plate and serve. I believe this dish looks good. It's been a while since I made it. Let me check it. I have to revamp it. Oh yeah, I like that. It's not too bad. There you go. A plus dish. That's all we serve here is A plus dishes so far. Even though we're using well less done, quality great. ingredients because Max wanted us to use the uh, International ingredients instead of the local ingredients for her quest. Oh, we got three people. Okay, let me get some more butter and flour just in case we have two fish dishes. You're doing great, Kasim. We've got two, three caprese salads. We got plenty of carpaccio and we got fish ready to go. We still got two more green beans. No, three more green beans in this pot. We should be okay. This is the definition of being prepared for a service. We might have to start rocking four recipes on the board if this is the situation. We're just kind of just standing around now. Nothing to do. What's up, nerding? What we got? What we got? I'm ready. How many fish dishes? Two! That's what I thought. Gonna get this going. Turn on the power. Alright, fish. Oil, go. Pan is hot. Fish, oil, go. The other one is a carpaccio salad. Let's go and take that. Let me make sure I drop my butter in phase one. 
and I can get that salad ready. Excellent. Let's get that salad ready while we wait. I love the multitasking so much. I feel efficient. Boom, look at that. That's an A+. Plus. Highest scoring... I just got a highest score achievement unlocked. You know I can help out, right? I know. I know. Right, let's turn that heat up. Kasim. More yeah, fish. Yeah. Just do what you're good at. This is probably our last table, so I'm just trying to get him experience points at this time in the game. Doesn't really matter what he does. After this table, we should be good for the day. Got it. Next. Hey, Erica, are you done playing Sons of the Forest? No. no. I'm not done. Yeah, I definitely want to play more Sons of the Forest, too. I've just been enjoying this game. We could probably play Sons of the Forest today. We could probably play this for a couple hours and then shift on over to Sons of the Forest. I want to get that base finish in Sons of the Forest. So it started looking nice. We were going to make that second floor and have like a little lookout. You can hang out upstairs. That'd be awesome. We love it. Sure. Yeah, let's play this for like two hours. We're about almost an hour in, about 15 minutes. About, out. well, 45 minutes in. So we'll play this for a couple hours and we'll switch over to some forest. Uh, I think I'm good to serve, right? Yeah. I was just trying to get him some levels. He's going to stop once he serves it, isn't he? Oh, I should have waited maybe a little bit longer. Nice plating, chef. I know. You want to eat it. Well, that's the point. People didn't want to eat it. I've been doing a pretty poor job as a chef. I would fire myself. I would set myself on fire. Okay, I guess we have one more customer, so that's good. He gets more experience. Give me something easy. Give me this this right here. Watch this. I'm going to go ahead and prepare it. This is what he's going to order. I'm going to call it. This is what he wants. Look at that. How could he not want that? I already know what he wants, waiter. Don't worry about it. I got it. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> I had a one out of three chance of being right, so I was pretty confident. All right, we'll just pour this. It's done. Thirty-three point three 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 percent chance of being right. Here you go. Take it. Take it and get out of my sight. Yeah, fillet that fish. That smells so good, chef. This guy's always giving me compliments. It's for services like this one that we opened the restaurant. That was okay. Well, we did have a perfect service. <laughs> Look at that! Hundreds across the board. Wow. Even though we use, we didn't use local ingredients, we still got hundreds across the board. Everybody had great reviews for our food. Check us out. Wonderful food will definitely come again. Loved it. Great meal from start to finish. Every time I come, I reserve a table for the next time it's becoming a ritual. I have rarely eaten so well. 20 out of 20 is on every dish. This is a really easy menu. I pretty much prepared everything ahead of time. My family and I ate here tonight. We were not pleased at all. What? This guy. What? How is that possible? Everybody got 100 out of 100. <laughs> Scripted. We were expecting decent service, but we certainly didn't receive it. You got your food, like, immediately, sir. I'm sure you wouldn't want to leave so many customers unhappy, would you? No, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. 150 coins. 150 coins? I don't even know if I, if I have 150 coins. There's nothing I can do. Oh, uh, man. 
man. This guy is... He's just trying to get a free meal. That's what's happening right here. He's just trying to get a free meal. I did my best. Everybody in my staff did their best. I don't believe you. I see. Well, we'll think twice before coming back to your restaurant. Do it. Think twice about it. You better think twice. Put his photo up. I want it up in the office. Next day. We're working our tails off in this kitchen. And he has the audacity. What do you want? <laughs> nice going, chef. I see you have impressed our your first customers. Congrats. They'll talk to their friends about your restaurant. You might just earn yourself some new customers. Word of mouth is what makes or breaks the restaurant. Just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, so I completed his quest. Which was to get five uh, loyal customers. I still got to buy 14 products. I should be close. Speed market. I need to get this recipe upgraded. Let me see if it's there yet. Go to my recipe book. Yep, that's not it. No, that was it. Table of contents. I can. Uh, it says upgrade. Unable. You can't upgrade this recipe at the moment. Why? Why can't I upgrade the recipe? I have three recipes that say... Oh, this is available now. Why is this available now? The salad's not available. Why can't I upgrade that? The only thing I can think of is maybe I'm just not at the level where I can unlock the appliance that is needed to, to make that recipe. It's the only thing I can think of is why I can't unlock it. Show details. Remove this dish from the menu. Ah, oh, you have to remove it from the menu to upgrade it? What? What? Oh, <laughs> I just I just put the same thing there. How does that make sense? Remove it from the menu to upgrade it. Upgrade. You have unlocked the recipe for a sole munir cooked in a whipped lemon butter and green beans. Now I have to make it once before I can actually serve it. Oh man. And I can upgrade my caprese salad too. Let's do it. You have unlocked the recipe for caprese with pesto and balsamic cream. Wow. That looks interesting. Okay, so we've upgraded two of our staple recipes, something that we use all the time. Let me get some easier stuff in here. Maybe I'll get the meat. Not that one. That one's difficult. I could do the soup. Let me go with the onion soup. Let me rock the onion soup. Let me go ahead and tag that one because I have no idea. Well, I guess first off, let me pin the the upgraded recipes so I can make them. And then learn them. Let me get the truck in here. We got an order from Speed Market in order to beat that one quest. What do you need for the daily service? Speed Market, here we go. What is one... Okay, never mind. 1.5 was a customer. So that's weird. 1.5 customers? Half a customer? All right, got the speed market. Uh, let's go ahead and place our order. That's 84 is a cost. We got 207. Cassine needs to get in here clean. I swear it's like completely clean and I turn around and then it's dirty. This must be a ghost. It must be haunted. It's the only explanation. Let's go check our office real quick. Modify the dining room. Thanks to the renovations done by Horace, you can now extend your restaurant and choose between different layouts. A larger kitchen gives you more space to cook and add workstations. A larger dining room can accommodate more customers per service. Got it. Layouts. So here's layout one. Layout two. Oh. Get extra table. Layout three. Interesting. Ah, but look at the level required for these ones. 
Whoa, that goes back there. Holy. That's a lot of tables. Okay. I guess these are the same number of customers, huh? It's Max. I just put your order in the storeroom. Ceilings. I can change the ceiling? Curtains. I don't have any. Floors. Ooh. I like it. No, this one. Glasswork. I like the dark. I like how I can paint the blue walls, but this wall is still green. <laughs> Why? Oh, there we go. Okay. I had to go over to the next set of walls. I see. I like blue better than green. Nope. Blue. Alright. Looks good. Tab out. Wow. Yeah, let's go get our ingredients. Take it. Thank you. Yes. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and stock these up. And let's get to making some of these new upgraded recipes. Okay, we're going to start with the fish. Okay, first off, we can put this down. Kasim needs to start cleaning once he gets in here, so I'm going to start the prepping now. Let's make some lemon juice. Now we need a pan. And a stove. Okay, we need the lemon juice and the butter. Now, is there an... Okay, it tells you right there. So start with the butter, and then on the second phase, we add the lemon juice. So start with butter. I might need seasonings, too. Let me check. Looks like just salt. Now I got it. So second phase is the butter. Now, I imagine we have to avoid high heat when we just had the butter cooking. Let me check. No, it doesn't say that. Interesting. I'm surprised. Uh, I could go ahead and do this. Powder the fish. I did that. I powdered the fish. Get our green beans going. Put that down. Turn the power on, get it boiling. Okay, we can put our lemon juice. Once that's boiling, we can throw our green beans down. Let's get it ready. Almost there. What about my tomatoes? Doesn't say. Alright. Wait, no, put it in there. A lot of salt. Perfect. This is almost done. Excellent. I guess, yeah, that needs to be... stay heated. Put it under the warmer for now. I'm gonna wash this while I'm waiting for the green beans. I can use this for the fish. Excellent. Now, I need to get that bowl. The whipped what, lemon butter. So start with the fish, lemon butter, throw it down. We gotta flip it this time. We haven't had to flip the fish before. This is almost done. Green beans, good to go. Put it up here. I need to take one, so that way I can plate this. You don't learn it until you plate it. Oh, we got... Oh, our new chef is here. Hold on, chef. Okay, I think... I don't know if I talk to her. Will this burn? Alright, wait, chef. But then Kasim's not here because it's waiting for me to talk to her. Alright, let's flip this first, and then we'll go talk to her. There. Come in. 
Hold on. Oh, I got. I can edit the kitchen too. It's too late now. Maybe. Ah, oh, chef. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. I've never worked in a fancy restaurant, but I'll be okay. It's just first day nerves. Once I get to work, I'm sure it'll all fall into place. Yes. Okay, now this does this tell me to avoid any heat? Warmer, boiling. I hope you're well, chef. Avoid high heat and flip it. Gotcha. You dropped your pen! This is the first day and you're dropping your pen. Can I tell her what to do? No. What's up, Rapsor? Okay. okay, good, she's cleaning. Where's Kasim at? Alright, can I plate now? Yes. Okay, that's not too much of a departure from the original dish. We just have to do the lemon butter cream. And that's pretty much it. Everything else is the same. I like how it's done. And I'm curious what kind of plating options we have. This looks creepy. It's like a rose of flesh, if you think about it. I don't know if I like that <laughs> concept. I like this, but I also like the filet. This looks interesting, too. Maybe I can do something with this. He's looking at me. Can I put him off up against the side? Maybe I can... Uh, Maybe I can use a different plates. More of a bowl. Will this work? Can I put them up against the side, like right here? No. Maybe if I put them like this. And then I'll throw some green beans down. Stack of green beans. What can I do with these? Oh, you could have like a bunch of different colors. That'd be nice. Let me do a, like a cross, maybe. Or maybe like two on him. Like this right here. Nope. Balance. Balance, damn you. I don't like that. No, I don't like it. I don't like any of it. Does not look appetizing. I'm not a big fish person anyway, though, so maybe that's the problem. Maybe a little bowl of lemon butter here. That cream that we made. A okay, port right here. That'd be good. Just like that. And then maybe we'll just do this right here. Slap that down. We put a little bit extra too, right underneath it. Let's get our green beans. Put them right here. It's too close. I can do it right here, but I can't do it over there, really. I can put it like in the fish. Just kind of mix it up a little bit so it looks kind of like it's together. The stacks. And then we'll put some uh, of these little guys in here. We'll just have a nice little spread. A red. Oh, and then, uh, oh, okay. Can I do this right here? That'll work. I can still put some more of these. Huh. We do a purple, yellow. I wish I could land the right way. <laughs> I'm so OCD about this stuff sometimes. And then that one that goes across 
like that. It's like so. Maybe a little bit, a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Let me see how that looks. Mm. There we are. And then let me add a little bit of decoration. Like a sprig leaf. Or maybe one of these right here. Can I put this in the dish? There we are. That looks kind of nice. And maybe a little sprig just on top. Nah, I don't like that. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. That'll work. Let's go ahead and save. Use this plate. Yes. And tab out. Okay. So that's one of the new dishes that we learned, one of the upgraded dishes. Let me just go ahead and put it off to the side now. Okay, well, we can't cook that today, or we can't serve it today, because we had to cook it before we can start serving it. But we can go ahead and do our salad next. Go ahead and take care of that. So... It's not just the food that makes a restaurant successful, chef. Okay. A few extra steps with this one. All right, what are we doing first? First, we're going to have to blend. I might have to get the seasoning for this, and I'm afraid to do that. The cheese, basil. You just put the ingredients in there whole. Okay, good. I don't have to season it. That's nice. So let's go ahead and make that balsamic, like regular. That's done. Excellent. Oh, wow, you get three of them. Wow, okay. I don't need three of them. I'll take three, just so I can move it onto one of these counters here. Get out of the way. I just need one, probably. Give this nice stir. Keep it from sticking. everything how you want it chef are you sure yep yep it's all good uh just keep cleaning because this place looks like garbage where's kasim as it's his day off or something there he is kasim where you been oh we got another person here okay you're gonna make extras oh wait need help he says not again oh he's tired of cleaning okay she's got it let me give this another stir before it sticks and burns and I ruin it. There, now it's not ruined. What's that neighborhood chef guy who wants to talk to me again? But it seems like if I talk to those people, everything behind me continues to cook. So he's going to burn my balsamic if I go talk to him. I need to cut my mozzarella and my tomatoes as well. Should have did that, I guess, while I've been waiting. There we go. Let's do it now. So other than blending up that pesto, everything else seems normal. We got a salt. So I think I have salt already. So pesto, mozzarella, what about our balsamic? What do I need for seasoning? Not enough salt, just one pinch of salt. Perfect seasoning. Pesto. It's like a tower. Okay. We need to do something to improve the restaurant, chef. Need to do something to improve the restaurant? What are you talking about? We'll delete all your workstations. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to do that later. The kitchen layout. Alright, what do you want? Hi, Chef. I've heard nothing but good things about your restaurant. I'm impressed. If you keep this up, you'll catch the attention of food critics in no time. And who knows? Maybe you'll get noticed by the Michelin Guide. If the guide thinks your restaurant will be a hit with customers regularly, they'll feature you. 
Distinctions. Be being awarded a distinction. The Michelin Guide has noticed you. This is a sign that your restaurant has potential. Wow, we can make our restaurant look like that? That's awesome. From now on, anonymous, anonymous, anonymous inspectors from the guide might come to your restaurant. Keep doing your best during each service and you might win one of those prestigious distinctions. Okay. Appear in the prestigious Michelin Guide by continuing to satisfy your customers. May even be lucky enough to appear in its Michelin Guide selection section. I like that. The selection section. Michelin, uh, Michelin Guide Selection recognizes high quality cuisine. Your restaurant comes recommended by the Michelin Guide. Guide Distinctions. There are two different uh, sections in the guide. There's a Michelin Guide Bib Gourmand. This recognizes the best local restaurants that have affordable prices but make no compromises on quality. Michelin Guide Star. This recognizes exceptional cuisine where technicality and quality are paramount. Can we get both? I wonder. All right, let's go ahead and plate this new salad, this upgraded salad. I, I don't like this basic plating as much. I feel like we can do better. I mean, maybe we can't. <laughs> We're going to try, though. All right. None of that. We still got the shish kebabs. We could do that way. We got that thing. You know, it's not just the food that makes a restaurant successful. Really? What else is it? What can I do with this? I could pour both of these. Hmm. I'm not thrilled with the pinwheel. That doesn't have any of the spinach. Or not the p spinach, the pesto. I could do this and have two dips. One for the pesto, one for the balsamic. I might do that. I still like the shish kebab look of it. Although that looks, that looks pretty good. I wonder if... Can I stack these? No. <laughs> I could do it like this. I could have one of each. I don't know why I would want that, but I could. Can I put this on top? No, it won't let me put it any top higher than that. Can't put it anywhere. Okay. Hmm. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> so much worse than the basic one. Ooh, these must be the... Uh, was that the fennel? Maybe I'll just get two of these smaller ones. Maybe one here, one here. Then we'll put pesto into one and balsamic into the other. And then we'll get our shish kebabs. A little bit, I was a little bit off. There we go. And then here. And then we could do a little touch-ups. Like maybe a little like this. Then go to this one. And do it like this. That's pretty nice. And we could do like a little leaf in the middle. No, it's not wanting to do it. It's like floating on the shish kebabs, I think. Well, that works a little bit. Can I put a leaf in here? And I can put two leaves so I can balance on the other one. No. 
Fill it up with leaves. No, can't do that. I could just do one like that. And then these seeds. I guess these are optional. Yeah, these are optional. Can I do like a little dab? I can do one right here. And then do one right here. And then maybe one right here. And another dab right here. Can I get artistic with it a little bit? And maybe I could do like a leaf right here on this side. Nope. Full on leaves. No more leaves. Leaves are out of order. Oh wait, I can do another leaf. Okay, good. Back in business. Those are bigger leaves though. Ooh, you know what? I wonder. I wonder if I could take this away now. I guess that's okay. We'll just go with that. That looks pretty good. I like that. Alright. We got other stuff to prep for today. So those are the two dishes we learned. Looking pretty nice. I'd order it. Let me unpin this and let's get we to work. Your help if we are to perform at our best. So what are we doing today? What are my dishes today? We're doing onion soup, orange and carrot, mint consomme, consomme and lemon marinated beef carpaccio. Alright, she's done cleaning. Kasim, I need you to help with food prep. And then I'm going to have her do the extras. What do you need, chef? Prepare extras. Alright, Kasim, I'm going to have you get to work on this carpaccio. And the soup. Right away, chef. Why does he sound like he doesn't want to do it? <laughs> I'll do my best, chef. You don't have time to cook that before service, so he can only do so many. All right, so while you work on that, I'm going to work on this onion soup. Let me go ahead and pin it. Pin. The rest is fine. All right, let's get the bread and the onions. Or, yeah, bread and onion. Let's get everything, actually. Here we go. French onion soup. Good, next, toast the bread. your help if we are to perform at our best I'm here helping what do you what do you think I'm doing I might make another one uh oh what did I just grab the butter I don't want the butter still got a second I could cut up this bread probably in this onion Oh no. Okay, plenty of time. Flip. Flip. All the way. Uh oh. Will it will it fry on that side? Come on, get toasty. Hello, anyone here? Yes, I'm here. There it goes. Okay, good. I was worried there for a second. I don't know why I grabbed you. No! I want the saucepan! Or not the saucepan, I want the fry. <laughs> there we go. Alright, what do you want? We're working here. Chef. 
Chef, have you seen the banners that the city has been putting around town? It's the Italian Festival. It's another idea to bring the community together. It's a perfect opportunity to showcase the Italian food on the menu. It's up to you, of course, but think about it. I hope the Italian Festival is for tomorrow because that'd be good to know whenever I, before I can make up my menu. Now it's too late. My menu is my menu. Can't change it up once you order the food from the food truck. Let's flip that so I don't have to worry about it getting seared on both sides. All right, once I do that, I need to get the pot. Uh, let me make sure I got my seasonings. There are some aspects of the restaurant that could be improved. True. Oh, I forgot the layout. Oh, man, I can't do it now, because otherwise the stuff that I have prepped will go away. Yeah, it's almost done. So, first phase, the onions. Second phase, the wine. Black pepper. First phase, the onions. Uh-oh. Ooh, close. Let's do another one. I need a lot of black pepper. How's that? Perfect. We really need to do something to improve the restaurant. What are you talking about? It's fine. What's wrong with it? Cover. You can prepare this dish beforehand and keep it on the warmer. Uh oh. I have to move my green beans. I guess I don't need the green beans now, do I? No, I don't. Those were literally just for the fish that we had to learn. So I could put my two soups up there. He's got the other stuff going. Second phase, I just gotta dump the wine. It's taking a second. You're doing great, Kasim. You too, Adele. Keep it up. And drop the wine. Okay, let me take this and we'll put it in the fridge. When the kitchen isn't at the top of its game, the effects are felt among Tell the me, customers. Chef. Oh crap, you got clean. This is bad. How did that happen? How did this happen? Okay, let me drop my white wine. There we go. It's looking great, Kazim. Doing good work. We cut up some cucumbers. That's a zucchini. We get three. That's a lot of cutting. Holy crap. All right. Plenty of time. You know what I can do. So feel free to get me working on something. Yes, I want you cleaning, but hold on a second. This is almost done. Can't give you orders and do this at the same time. Pot is done. Okay, I want you to clean a little hey. bit. He's tired of that. Okay, fine. Make extras. We literally have like a few seconds before the restaurant opens. It'll be my last thing that I can do. Uh, let me go ahead and throw this in the fridge. And then my green or my onion soup should be ready. Put that in there. Good. Okay. Everything's fine. This is almost done. I was just going to wait like another second for this to finish. Okay, let's go open. Should be open by the time I get over there. Or should be done. Alright, let's open up. Let's have a good service. 
food prep, food prep. Wash dishes. Do I want her washing dishes? Or helping me with the prep? Hmm. I guess the prep. I want to level her up. I don't know if the washing dishes will level them up too. I don't know what I should work on, Chef. Look how down and out they both look. What's going on, guys? All right, Adele. Uh, I'm gonna have you go ahead and make me some of that Chef. beef carpaccio. And Kasim, I want you to work on the very well, Chef. Soup. Right away, Chef. Why do you look so depressed all the time? Holy crap! Look at her go. She's gonna cut her finger off. Oh, you know what? I had the cucumbers, but I forgot to put them in the fridge. Let's go ahead and cut them up again. Um, oh. Nice little slices. She's cutting so much faster than I am. Right, so we got a order of soup. And we got an order of this soup. Okay, French onion. Oh, I need the biscuits. Where's the biscuits at? The biscuits aren't here! Hold on. thought the biscuits I already made them, but those are separate, I suppose. Uh-oh. Uh, bread. Okay, let's cut some bread. Well, not the biscuits, but the uh, I guess I guess they're kind of like biscuits almost. <laughs> the cut the bread. Okay, give me that. Croutons, the croutons. There you go. Okay, while that's going, I can go ahead and do this. I'm available if you need me, Chef. Right. I'm gonna prep that. I'm just waiting on the croutons. There's a symbol over there. What's going on with the croutons? Are they okay? Yeah, I just gotta flip it. Right, let's give her another order. Adele, uh, can you go ahead and make get some cucumber oh, slices? Desk, yeah. A couple of those would be nice. We'll put this in the fridge. Seems to go faster marinating once it's in the fridge. Cooling down. Alright, those are almost ready. And then we can plate it and serve. Uh, Kasim, could you work on yes, more chef. bread? Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and plate this. Oh, wait, I gotta get my soup. There we go. Now I can plate it. I don't remember how this looked. Last time I plated it. Uh, that looks okay, I guess. Alright, order up. Let me wash this. Should have another set of customers coming up soon. Both of them are A rank, so it's not too bad. The only reason it's not A plus is I haven't cooked it as long as I have the Caprese salad. Yeah, two more customers. Look, she's burnt out from cooking. Why'd you want to be a chef then? All right, they're enjoying their food. She got done eating a long time. Long time before he got done. I'm here, chef. Make use of me. Can I tell you to like? Go do something else? No, it won't let me go tell her to wash dishes now. Once I tell them to serve, then she serves, I guess. 
Well, I don't need anything right now. Here's an order for the table that just arrived. All right. So let's go ahead and get going on this. Let me get that Carpaccio. And then let me toast some bread. Let me get one of them to toast some bread. Can you toast some bread? Yes, chef. Adele? Are you going to do it over there? Kasim, can you toast bread? Chef. They're working on it. Alright, this should be almost ready to flip. Perfect. Now I don't have to worry about it for a while. Let me go ahead and plate my carpaccio. This plate I take a lot of pride in. This one looks good. I worked hard on that one. Alright, so that's done. That's a B rank. Hmm. I wonder if it's because I had them prepare the ingredients and their technical skill isn't up to par with mine because if I would have made it, it would have been an A+. Plus. But eventually, hopefully, if I just let them do it and continue level, then uh, they'll get to where I don't have to do it. But they're both cooking. Oh, they got their own little ovens. That's nice. Nope, oh, let me get some soup. Almost forgot. And plate it. And serve it. Okay, that's two tables done. Probably two more to go. Okay, we're getting those croutons cooked. Don't wash that. There's not much I need. I could probably go ahead and get some more of these plated and just ready to go. It's not like they're go bad, I don't think. And I could just hold on to them. <laughs> they look like zombies, pretty much. Poor Kasim and Adele. It's like they're forced to come to work. Oh, order. Yeah. What we got? Oh, perfect. Oh, wait, no, I need the onion soup. Hey, they toasted the bread, though. Where's the bread at? That you toasted. Oh, this is empty. Where's that bread you toasted? Oh, here it is. Thank you. Can I put it here? Oh, I guess I have it now? How do I get it from it? I put it here, no? Okay, there it goes. You just put, bring the pan to the plating station. Usually when I do it in the pan, I can pick it up from the pan, which I guess it makes more sense to bring the pan to the plating station. I don't have anything to do, chef. All right, last soup, and then that table will have everything that they need, the onion soup and the orange and mint and cucumber. Two orders of that. Lots of soup. Oh, the mint and cucumber was only C rank. Ugh. Because I'm having them do it, and look at them. They're unmotivated. This is hot. Thanks, Chef. I'll take it. What am I supposed to do with this? I can't put it back. Uh, let me tell them to cook some more 
We More did biscuits. a good job today. Oh, that was and it. We'll do even better tomorrow. Okay. I thought we were gonna get a couple more tables. Oh no, it's not as good. I blame them. Good food, decent menu. Maybe they just didn't like the soup menu. <laughs> it's a little bit too soupy for them. All right, let me look at their. What do I need to do? Track the attention of okay 14 products from the speed market i think i've been buying from the speed market but it, i don't know 14 products i've been doing that but i've been doing it on the uh the regular you can receive a discount if you order only from one supplier complete three italian services with a menu theme or complete three services with italian theme of italian and then for him all I have to do is ask him to make the fennel slivers and the red bell pepper slivers, but we haven't gotten to that point where we make the slivers yet. Right now the pepper is just on the fish, but we haven't served that fish yet. Okay, let's go another day. Let's try another service. Now I can add those upgraded dishes to the menu. And they're Italian too, so that'll help. Here it is, caprese salad. And the fish, the fish is in Italian, but I will serve three of those Italian dishes because we're having more than a couple customers. Buy 14 products from the supplier speed market. That's what I've been doing. Oh, let's change this before I get going. Ooh. It's like more space. I haven't unlocked it though. I have to get 25, 15 and 25. What about worktop? No. Floors. We have that floor, but I'd rather not. Cookware, no. Counters, no. Wall. You paint the walls. That's pretty much all I can do is paint the walls. I'm glad I didn't waste all my food by doing that, by risking it. What do you need? Okay, does it have to be the basic speed market? Because she just said buy 14 products at speed market. I guess that's speed market plus. Maybe that's my issue. This is speed market regular. So I guess we'll buy these low quality ingredients. Everybody's going to hate me today. But I got to do it for the quest. Oh, one too many. There we go. 48 cost. Wow. We're going to have $200 left over. I'll have your order soon. Poor customers today. They're going to be expecting all these upgraded ingredients. Or recipes. Or food dishes. And they're going to get all the like crappy products that goes into them. Restaurant. Yes, that's what this is. I wonder if... It doesn't look like the upgraded. Well, I guess no. The caprese with pesto and balsamic. It used to be six. Now it's fifteen. That's the price. So yeah, the upgrade definitely was more. I felt like the fish was twenty before, and it's twenty now. We definitely gotta get this cleaned up. Ugh. Oh, how it gets dirty here every single day. I guess we do a lot of cooking, but it just like comes and goes. One second. There we go. Okay, let's get it our tray and get our food. There's your order. Thank you. Okay, now that quest should be done. She should be happy with us for ordering from the crappy place. Definitely got more than 14 products from there. We actually got 24. Hey, mm -hmm. Chef. I have a favor to ask you. Hi, Chef. I saw you took advantage of the supplier's campaign. Thank you, Chef. As promised, here's something by way of thanks. You deserve it. What do I get? What'd she give me? She didn't tell me what it was. Now, let's get to cooking. Oh, fish soup. That's what she gave us, I guess. We didn't have fish soup before. 
Okay. Let's make some fish soup just to learn it. Oh, let's go back. And we've got nine knowledge points. What can we buy? We could get ABC of risottos. Traditional pot a few or something like that. Uh, grilled lagostine vegetable slices shellfish shellfish sauce. Down here, what do we have? Oh yeah, I wanted to make the uh, ratatouille at some point. Spaghetti with clams. I have all the things to put with spaghetti. It's probably not something I would choose. Alright, let's get to making this... Oh, not the red mullet and croutons. Let's make the fish soup. Where's the red mullet and croutons at? I don't have that hey, pinned. Chef, I have a favor to ask you. Another favor? Why does it say red mullet? It's supposed to be fish soup. What's a favor, Max? Hello, Chef. The suppliers are launching a huge loyalty campaign today. If you use the products of the Seagull Supplier, you'll get a discount on your next order. But don't wait too long. The offer expires in a few days. Think about it. You can save a lot of money. Hey, Chef. I have a favor to ask you. Hi, Chef. I saw you. What? You just... We just did this. Max, what's going on? That's weird. Okay. Let's get our supplies and make this recipe while we wait for our... Other employees to roll in, just so we can learn it. Oh, we got a red mullet. A new fish. So what do I do first? First we're going to cut up the bread. Excellent. Next. We're going to make some croutons. After that, we're going to fillet the fish. Same process. Okay, this is about ready to flip. Give it there it is. Flip it. Goes nice and croutony. Now we're going to make the sauce, and I need seasoning. Let me grab that seasoning. Okay, so I'm going to put the... Oh, I need this as well. Right here. So I'm going to put this down, and this down. And then we got our... I don't, oh yeah, we got our sauce, and our peppers, and then our fish and water. Okay, let's season. Fennel. Perfect. Now our tomatoes and our tomato paste. And then lastly in phase two, we're adding our fish and our water. Let's go ahead and cover that. Let's take this and we can just rinse this off while we're waiting. Am I doing something? <laughs> I think I just clean it by putting water on it. You don't even try to, like, wipe it down or nothing. Alright, one thing I can do while I'm waiting for that is I can do some green beans. Definitely gonna want some green beans. Oh, helps if I put water in here. I can turn this on. It's almost ready for the fish in the water. Let me get the green beans out. Excellent. Uh, I do need lemon and cream. Lemon and butter. Lemon and butter. And I need flour for the fish. And then I need that fish, obviously. Uh oh, I should have probably put the fish and water in the pot before I did this. Come on, hurry up. Okay, now we got time. That's good. Okay, so... Fish and water, and then we're good to go. Cover it back up. 
Hello. Welcome in. Oh, this is the influencer. Last episode. Hi, Chef. This is looking good. Your dishes are always appearing on my feed, and the photos get tons of likes. It would be a shame if you didn't get to benefit from that, right? So, how about we help each other out? Learn some new dishes, plate them in your own unique way. And when all looks good, I'll post the photos on my various feeds. It'll be great publicity for you. I mean, I've already been doing that. This is still going. This is taking a second. Alright, let's drop my green beans. Oh, I need to get my seasoning for my salt and pepper. Get everything. Perfect. Lots of salt. There we go. Alright, so after I do that, I just combine the everything. The croutons, the fish. Oh, I gotta put the fish on the... In the flower, of course. Great looking menu today, Chef. I know. Wait, that's not the right fish. This fish is for the uh for over here. I already got the fish that I need. It's cooking. Come on done. Okay, so I got that A plus. A plus. Uh oh. Take the pot. Put it over here. Excellent. So, croutons and this, and then I can make my fish soup. It's super fishy. Okay. That looks pretty good. I just wish the plate was black. Redo plating. Uh, let me get the bowl, actually, since it's soup. I don't know how many people like their soup on a plate. Let me start by adding the soup. Healthy portion of soup. This looks kind of nice. Let me put this around the dish. So I can only add three. Okay, we can put this onion in the middle. We do it like this. <laughs> Just a whole onion. Just throw it in there. I can put this right here. Like that. And then one right here. Like so. Uh, carrots. A big old chunk of carrot. We put the carrots like this it's on this side, like that. Don't look too bad. One more. It's all coming together. And then for this thing, maybe I can do it like where was it? Maybe this thing in the middle? Maybe a little bit more. Like that right there. And maybe I can cap it off. Nope. Nope. A little bit more. There you go. I can't do any more onion. I need another carrot. Boom! Check that out. That looks pretty good. I like it. You can stack stuff. Okay. I like it. I like it. I put that on the very top. It's high enough. Oh. That's too high. I think that's perfect right there. Save plating. Use this plating. Take a picture. Boom. That's for the influencer. And tab out.
quit. Excellent. Uh, take. All right, let me put this down. So we learned how to make the fish soup. Uh, I'm going to take this pot. This is trash now. Put it right there. Okay, let's go ahead and juice. I guess, no. Let me get my other... Let me get this recipe real quick. Take away that. I'm going to pin that. Play as a salad. And... Should be it. What's my other thing I'm making? Should be the beef carpaccio, I believe. Are we cleaning or what's going on? Lemon marinated beef carpaccio, yeah, okay. It's going to be a great day, chef. I know. We're going to have a great dinner service. Let me get this going. So I have it's time to marinate. Need that lean beef. Speaking of, I need lemon for this, too. Yeah, another lemon. Lots of lemons. Alright, I think I need the garlic, too. No, that's not it. I need this thing right here. There we go. I gotta slice it. Slice it thin. One more. Good. Okay, so I got my lemon juice and I got my beef. Now I just need the cheese and the onions. Do we have everything we need for this evening, chef? We're getting there. Um, cheese. Okay, last onion. Good. Go and get some going. Uh oh. Okay. Down. Season. Lots of olive oil, so we're gonna do two helpings. How's that? One more. Okay. Now put the lemon. Cheese. Take that away. That's one ready. Our Next. customers will be blown away today, believe me. I believe you. I believe you. Uh, let me put this down. Let me take okay. this away. Put this here. Take that. A lot of moving stuff around. Take that. Blend some juice. Cut the meat. I have two of these capaccios or capaccios ready to go. Oh, the slice it. Okay, one more of these. Down season. How much olive oil? A lot. So at least two. How are we looking now? Perfect. Let's finish it up. Good. Put that in the fridge. Thanks for your advice the other day. It was You're welcome. really helpful. No problem. Okay, now I need to go ahead and I got that done. I can make this. I need more lemons. Let's get two lemons and more butter. More butter. It's going to be for that. Uh oh. I have to get two lemons and one butter. We might need even more than that later on. Start juicing. 
get our pan. Throw some butter on there. Thank you. Another juice. Okay, then we're gonna throw the juice. Wait, right? Why does it say question mark? Is that not right? I learned a little technique for this job. Maybe I screwed it up. Juice is in the second phase. Oh man. Alright, take it away. Get out of here. Okay, juice is in the second phase. Good to know. Okay, butter. I think it's okay. All right, let's get another butter. Okay, everything else is fine. I guess I need to make some of that fish. I need flour. I need two things of flour. How's everything today, chef? This is almost ready. Come take this over here. All right, this is ready for the OJ, LJ, <laughs> lemon juice. Speaking of lemon juice, I need another one. All right, chop it, belay it. Yeah, another one. Okay, this is almost done. I don't know if I can keep this under the warmer. I might have to make this again. Yeah, it has to stay warm, so it's not going to last over here. Dang. I saw what you did the other day, and it gave me a great idea. Okay, I'm listening. Go ahead and fillet this guy. Sorry. Off with your head. Give me that fish. Let's powder it up. Place all. Powder it up. Excellent. Alright, my big concern now is also that salad. What's that about? Why do you pfft me? Okay, let's get some of that going. And I need mozzarella. And tomatoes. She doesn't want to do that. Uh, here. Now he's cleaning and she's doing that. Just traded spaces. He got to prep and she got to clean. Now she gets to prep and he gets to clean. It's all fair. All right, let's get to stir in before we burn our balsamic. Perfect. They have time to cut my mozzarella. Yeah, I should. I'm fast. Excellent. All right. What else do I gotta do? I gotta blend all the stuff together to make the pesto. So I need the fennel, basil, cheese, juice, need all that stuff. Alright, let's give this one more stir each, and then we can lift them up. It's getting close to serving time. All this time we use in between here, we actually 
had to use it for prep. Crazy. Okay, this is done. That there. The customers can feel it when the kitchen is not running smoothly. Is the kitchen not running smoothly? Oh, I need more. Let me put that away. Uh, let me put my... Can I put my balsamic in here? Yeah, that's okay. One, two... What else? This. Okay, I think that's what I need for the pesto. We have time. Okay, make the pesto, did the balsamic, did that. And then we whip it all up together. Oh wow, that made a lot. I can only carry so much. Okay. Um, we'll shoot. Let me put some of this stuff away. You know, it's not just the food that makes a restaurant successful. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Let me get those out of here. Then we get these. Okay, and for this I need that, that, and pesto. This needs salt. A lot of salt. Two salts. How's that? Not enough salt. There we go. Now that's enough salt. Another... How much salt? One sprinkle of salt, that'll do. And let's get one more. And pesto. Not enough salt, one sprinkle, that'll do it. Excellent, looks like it's time to open. What else do we gotta do? We just gotta serve it. Let me put the balsamic in here. And we'll put those in there. We got our fish. Okay, I think we're ready. Okay, so I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have her wash... No, not again. She's tired of doing this. None of them wanna wash dishes. Okay, so I guess we won't do that. Let me do something, chef. Please, anything. Okay, we're in a cutscene. All right, Kasim, I need you to get some fish ready. Very well, chef. And then Adele, could you get the sauce, the whipped butter? Very well, chef. Chef. Okay, as far as this goes, I can go ahead and plate these. I could have played at them, I guess, before I opened, but we are already there at dinner time, so. That does not look bad at all. Let's get one more ready. I need to make some more balsamic. Only made two. What's wrong with her? I can't put them in there. I just put them off to the side. We have the order from the new table, chef. Oh, okay, one of these, and then we got a fish. What do I do for the fish? I gotta cook it in the pan that's already heated. I need that butter. He just made it for me. Good job. Perfect timing. It's a C rank. Oh my gosh. How do I make the butter myself? What do I need? Lemon. I need lemon and butter. How did they make stuff C rank? That's not butter. 
Lemon. Lemon. Expect me to serve that. Kasim, work on the fish. You're good with fish. Yes, chef. Let me tell two more of those. Okay, so first I need the butter. Let me get another pan. So for this I need the fish and the butter, which I don't have. I have the fish. Put that down. The second phase is the butter. Let's go and make that carpaccio. We're going to be the second phase of the timing is when we're going to be able to serve this now. A plus. That's what I'm talking about. They wanted a salad. Those are ready to go. Oh my gosh. This is going to take a while. Could use this, but it's a C rank. I need a challenge, chef. Both of these are bad. You need a challenge, Adele? You're good with meat. I'll Make some lean best, meat. Chef. Meat's supposed to be her specialty. Okay, let me make another carpaccio, I guess. Why don't we chilling here, waiting? I might as well. Just have it in my inventory ready to go. The only thing that's taking me any time is this fish. And it's only because I have to do a little bit extra now that I've upgraded the recipe. There, I got two carpaccios, two caprese salads, all A rank. I'll take that and we'll throw that in here. So now all I have to do is flip that. Let me go and wash this. Okay, I might as well get this started with another one. Because you know someone else is going to order it. The fish. I Do mean. My help for anything? I'm going to have to flip that soon. Let's get the OJ going while we do it. Um, Kasim, could you do some OJ? You can't screw that up. And Adele, could you make some of that? Flip this. Okay, let me take that. Let me get another butter from here because he's making an orange juice or a lemon juice. Oh, I say orange juice. It's lemon juice. Okay, order two I got. As soon as they ordered it. Talk about service. I think I could turn this up a notch. And it's still good. Kasim, can you do another fish? Nope, there's not enough table space. Okay, and let me get that green beans. I need a challenge, chef. Now I can plate this fish. Oh, I need the peppers. Let me grab a couple of those, have them on hand. And peppers. Wait, something was still C-Rank? Was that my sauce? Did I still make it C-Rank as well? Okay, serve and serve. Right before that bar expired. This can't be the last table. We've only had two customers. That looks delicious, Chef. I know. Uh, can you make this? Right away, chef. And can you make... This as Jeff. well. No. Oh, crap. I meant to do it to Kasim. Kasim, could you make. Right away, chef. Balsamic. Well, sure. I'm gonna make my own balsamic while he's doing it. Because mine will be better. But at least he'll get the experience of doing it. Let's go ahead and put it in. Take this, throw it over here. 
Okay, I'm gonna heat this pan up because we might need another fish. We might need another butter. Let me get it going now. Stir. Make another arpaggio. Last one. Yep. Excellent timing. I'm available if you need anything. All right, let's serve these two. Perfect. Serve. Okay, one more stir, and then we gotta add the butter to our fish dish, our lemon cream. Wait, oh, not the, not the butter, lemon juice. The butter was already there. See, one of them's that gonna order fish. So good, chef. Sounds like someone was right next to me. It said Paris. Paris are. Oh, she's got someone else back there with her. Okay, balsamic. Excellent. Uh, let me get another pan. Let me heat it up. Let me get a fish. Go ahead and put our butter and our fish. Nope. That's not what I want to do. There we go. We got. What we got? Okay, no fish. Just one of these. Surprise. And one of these. Let me flip this still. I'll put it under the heater. Come on, it's about ready to flip. There it is. Flip it good. Alright. Let me put together my salad. Which is right here. Excellent. A lot of A plus dishes. The only thing that wasn't A plus was the fish, and I think it might have been the lemon, I'm not sure. Oh, I forgot the carpaccio. I have it, but I didn't plate it. That looks delicious, Chef. Hold on, I'm almost there. There you go. And my fish is about to be done, in case we do get another customer that wants fish. Oh no, that's it. I didn't get no experience or nothing. Wow, that's like my worst grade yet. How is it so bad? I don't understand. Oh, you know what? It's probably so bad because we used the cheap ingredients because we had to buy 15 orders of the cheap basic ingredients that was international. It's like the lowest, lowest, the lowest of the low ingredients. Oh man, that sucks. But we had to do it for the quest. We had no choice. Feels bad. That's probably why I had sea rake. It's because of stupid quest. Oh man. Oh, she's not gonna be happy. Your plating was a huge hit. Engagement from my followers is super high. Well done. And this is just a start. I know our little collab will attract loads of new customers for you. Well, that's good. Next time we'll actually be able to order good ingredients. And get a hundred. See? Her, her thing was done now. Uh, we still have to get the Michelin guy. We have to get three Italian. Oh, we've been... We've been doing Italian, I thought. Complete three menu services with a menu theme. Oh, we had to do Italian across the board. I think one of our dishes is French. And then we still have to upgrade this, I guess, in order to get the fennel slivers and the red bell pepper slivers. The Sol Munir. So far, 
We've upgraded it once, but I think he needs it again, maybe. I don't know. It's getting there. It's close. Sol Munair cooked in a whipped lemon butter and green beans, but it doesn't say anything about fennel slivers or red bell pepper slivers. I haven't been able to cut those like that. But so far, pretty successful. I think we'll go ahead and wrap things up there for this episode. I'll probably just go ahead and take a quick little break, use the restroom, stretch my legs, and then I'm going to come back with some more Sons of the Forest. Hopefully, if you enjoyed this episode, you can go ahead and hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Check out Twitter and Discord in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.